up everyone it's been a while since i did any updates on the super tundra so i figured i'd do a quick walk around done a lot of updates recently so the biggest update being the new standalone ecu put a haltech 2500 elite in there it's got a wide band can wide band one kit high power igniter um, put a new clutch in it in 2019, it started slipping a little bit. So I just put a six puck in it from ACT. Um, yeah, the Helltech was a lot of work. It's got an all brand new harness. There's no adapter or anything. It's all just all new, all new ignition harness. Um, it's got stock coils. Now I got my boost controller tied in there. Got my wide band down there. Got all these new airlines for the boost controller. Um, let's see what else. I put a 130 amp Tundra alternator in there. A brand new Reman Denso alternator. Um, it had an underdrive pulley on it, or actually an overdrive pulley, so I kept the stock pulley on there. Um, so I had a lightweight one on there before. Put in a radium billet fuel rail with ID1700X injectors. Um, it's all vibrant fuel fittings and hoses. Uh, the Haltech controls my radiator fans, so I trigger this relay and got a couple big fans there set up. Um, I did all new cables. I just went up to the local supply house, the welding supply house, and got some crimpers and went to town. Redid the wire that goes from the alternator to the battery. The wire that goes from the battery to the engine block, um, the wire that goes over to the starter is all new. Um, I got that oil pressure sensor uh, that's hooked up into the Haltech. If you can see that, it goes right into the block where the stock oil pressure sensor goes. Um, I got a fuel pressure sensor right there. Um, as you can see, there's the radium direct mount regulator. It's kind of nice. Um, one of the things I really like about the new Haltech harness is it has tons of spare stuff. Under the dash, there's a bunch of spare wires, like if I wanted to do you know, LED shift lights or anything like that, but there's a lot of extra stuff. Like I want to add in a flex fuel sensor and I'll be able to plug it right into that. Um, yeah, so I think that's most of what I've done under the hood here recently. Um, I also broke the ring gear in the rear end. I put on these drag radials and almost immediately blew up the rear end. So now I've got a Ford 9-inch with an end case and it's got Eaton gears and a Eaton locker in there. Um, can show you a little more about the fuel system. I ran eight gauge wire to ring terminals all the way from a relay um, under the hood that the Haltech fires off. I got my vibrant fittings in my stock hanger. I drilled it out, put bulkhead fittings in adapters that go down to 5 16 I got my Hellcat 525 pump in there. Um, I realized when I took the bed off, the stock fuel tank was really rusty, so I just picked this up off of Amazon. That'll be nice. Um, you know, pulled all the emission stuff out of here. There was pipes that went underneath the truck, you know, all the stock fuel lines. So I got dash eight and dash six. All the stock stuff is gone. Charcoal canister, the, all the pipes that run the length of the truck are gone. Um, 
and there was a big spare tire carrier here or just the spare tire and the mechanism it had the rear crash bar that was almost completely rotted out that i got rid of i had a reese hitch on it it's never really gonna tow again so i took that off so that was quite a lot of weight um i don't even think i'm gonna put the bumper back on so there's all that stuff but Yeah, I, I prepped all this, this Ford 9-inch, I prepped that all last year because I knew that this was going to break eventually. Just got some new bolts off of eBay, um, got some B8 Bilsteins, uh, you know, got some mounts, so I got to get those welded up. Um, I need to have a new drive shaft built, I guess. It's too long to make it a one piece, so it's gotta be a two piece. And the local drive shaft shop said that they could give me a heavy duty carrier. And um, the pinion is a 1350 on this new rear end, but I think this is a 1330. So I'm probably gonna have the whole shaft rebuilt with 1350 U joints and get a 1350 yoke for R154 put that in there um it's gonna have disc brakes in the rear and gotta figure out how to delete the abs in the front i think it's gonna be pretty straightforward kind of nice thing with the new frame it has all new lines so um i got this willwood brake proportioning valve probably mount that in the cabin so i can adjust the brake bias uh, from the driver's seat <clears throat> that'll be nice I was also thinking about getting a line lock and possibly a hydro and getting that all set up uh, next to the shifter. I think that would be pretty fun, you know, with, um, you know, slick tires, you'd be able to do some skids. That would be pretty fun. Uh, I got all this stuff here from Vibrant. It's a four inch muffler. Purge plugs, stuff like that. Uh, got a bunch of pieces that I cut. Me and my buddy cut a bunch of pie cuts on the bandsaw. It's gonna come out of the turbo three and a half. It's gonna go up to four. And I got enough four inch pipe right there. And then up there, pipe that I salvaged off a job that should be able to run the whole length of the vehicle. So that'll be a nice boost in power going to the four inch. Um, yeah, so hopefully I can get some axles and brakes and get this drive shaft rebuilt and have this thing back up on the road again soon. So there it is. Hope you liked it.